Former President Barack Obama took to the stump in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania to campaign for Democratic presidential hopeful, Kamala Harris Thursday. Obama said he was heartbroken over the loss of life from two recent hurricanes that struck Florida and other states in the South. He said, it's times like this when you realize having an honest, competent leadership in government really matters. It makes a difference. Trump and Harris are both visiting key swing states strategically this week, trying to increase support with key voting blocs who could decide an election expected to be exceedingly close. Obama made his first appearance for Harris at Thursday's rally in Pittsburgh. Obama's team says he will focus on swing states, especially those with key Senate races. With Democratic Senator Bob Casey sitting nearby, Obama urged attendees at the rally to keep Casey in office. He also plugged other Democratic office seekers in the Keystone State. Are you fired up? Are you ready to go? Uh, it is good. It is good to be back in Pennsylvania. It is good to be back in Pittsburgh. I love Pittsburgh. I did want to say that we are you know, heartbroken about the loss of life in Florida, North Carolina, states across the Southwest. We are thinking about people, families whose lives have been upended by the storms over the last couple of weeks. Uh, I could not be more grateful for the first responders and FEMA professionals who have put themselves in harm's way to try and help. You know, it, it, it's times like this when you realize having honest, competent leadership in government really matters. It makes a difference. This election's gonna be tight. Because there are a lot of Americans who are still struggling out there. They're still striving to make life better for themselves, for their families, for their kids. And, and let's face it, as a country, we've been through a lot these last few years. We had a historic pandemic wreaking havoc on communities and businesses. Disruptions from the pandemic then caused prices to spike, and that put a strain on family budgets. And in many ways, it's felt like the aspirations of working people have taken a back seat to the priorities of the rich and the powerful. So I get it why people are looking to shake things up. I mean, I am the hopey, changey guy. So so I understand people feeling frustrated and feeling we can do better. What I cannot understand is why anybody would think that Donald Trump will shake things up in a way that is good for you, Pennsylvania. I don't understand that. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky arrived at London's 10 Downing Street on Thursday to present his victory plan to UK Prime Minister Keir Starmer as part of a tour of meetings with Western leaders. The specifics of Zelensky's blueprint have been kept quiet but contours of the plan have emerged, including the need for fast action on decisions Western allies have been mulling since the full-scale invasion began in 2022. U.S. President Joe Biden postponed a weekend meeting with Zelensky to discuss the plan, saying he had to stay home to respond to Hurricane Milton's landfall in Florida. 
Speaking at a summit in Croatia with leaders of southeastern European states on Wednesday, Zelensky said he hopes his meeting with Biden at the U.S. Ramstein Air Base in Germany will be rescheduled soon. That meeting was meant to include about 20 Western leaders and defense ministers.